Hello and welcome to the next video in this Craft CMS tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a general page template, which you can use for many different pages across your website. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is create a general page template in our templates directory. So we'll go to templates and create a new file and call it general.twig. And here we're going to extend from the base template once again. and then create the same block content that we've used everywhere else. Now let's go into our designed templates folder here and get this gear template, which is kind of a general page and just grab the article tag out of it. And we can actually get rid of all of this content except for the H1 and just put a placeholder there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now let's go into the CMS add-in panel and add a new section for general pages. So go to settings, sections, new section, and we'll call it general pages. So let's make it a structure section type so that we can create many pages and reorder them in any way we like. It'll also allow us to indent some pages under other pages to have subpages. So that's fine there. Let's set up max levels of two so we can have one level of indentation for subpages. And the URI format, instead of having the URL start with general pages for these, we're going to say parent URI. And then the slug for this particular entry. And I'll show you what this means in a minute. As far as templates go, we're going to just use the general template. So select that and we are good to save this. So now let's go to entries, structures. We have general pages here now and let's create a new entry. So we don't actually have any other fields besides the title. So let's fix that. We'll just create one here called our gear and we'll save this. And then let's just go back to sections here and add one more field to it. So general pages, edit entry types. And let's reuse this rich text field that we created earlier and save this again and go back to entries and then to this new page we just created. And now we have that rich text field in here again. So I'm just going to paste in some rich text for this page. And I'm going to select an image for in the middle here. So I can embed an image right here. And I'll choose this gear photo. All right, let's go ahead and save this. And let's view it in the browser by clicking this globe icon. Okay, so we have the title coming in here, but let's edit the template to get the rich text field as well. And save that. Perfect. There's our rich text page. Now, one more thing we should do here is we don't have the background image that we have for inner pages. So let's go ahead and add that class onto the body tag, just like we did for the stories page. We'll take this body classes variable and we'll just paste it up here. So because this is an inner page, we're changing the body class to be inner page instead of home page. And now we get this nice background image. So this is a new general page that we've created. Let's actually uh, improve this title a little bit. We're actually, we're not pulling in the title yet. Let's do that right here. Entry.title. Perfect. Now let me show you creating a sub page under this. So let's go back to general pages under entries here. We'll create a new entry 
And let's say we want this to be under the gear page. So let's say this is an item, a, a piece of gear. So we'll say Fujifilm X Pro 2 camera. And we'll just paste in a little bit of rich text. Maybe include a photograph. I'll upload one here. I'll give the image itself a title and save. I might just add a little more rich text under this image. Okay. Let's get rid of this uh, empty H3 here. This is why I like having the HTML button available because rich text editors always seem to put a little extra line breaks or empty tags in. So let's publish this and save it. And we can view it right here. And here's our new page, but it doesn't yet belong under or live underneath the Our Gear page. So we can do this two ways. One, we can just drag it just like that. And we, if we added another one, a third one, we couldn't drag it under Fujifilm because we set the levels to only be two, two levels deep. So we have one and two, and that's fine for our purposes here. So we can drag it just like that. Or if we go and edit it, you can choose a parent for this page here. So if we click choose, it'll find other entries within this section, which is the general pages section. And it lets us select one there. So let's choose that and save. And you can see that did the same indentation for us. Now, one final note here, if we open up the gear page, we can see that the URL is just slash our gear. But if we open up the Fujifilm Expert 2 page, we can see that it's our gear slash Fujifilm X Pro 2. So that's what the setting before with parent URI was all about. Let's go back to sections here and look at general pages one more time. So parent URI in this case is our gear because that's the parent page. And then the slug itself, which is this piece because this is the actual entries slug. All right, so that is how you create general pages that you can reuse for all sorts of different types of content throughout your website and how you can put sub pages under them. And you can also reorder these pages any which way you like. So if we go here and let's say these weren't, this wasn't a parent and child, you can drag them around any way you like, just like that. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.